Della Sports, Ryan here. Guys, so super excited, right? What we've got for you, what to do with a yoga ball. If you're on your own, in your own back garden, and if you've invested in a yoga ball, perfect way to practice your, te your technique and rock situations. You wanna be able to simulate the same feeling and the same outcomes when you're practicing. Remember, it's not about how quickly you can fly into it, but if you can, ask your mom or your dad, if you're a youngster, to record you. Okay, that will give you real-time information on what you need to improve on and what you're doing well. Remember, it's the skills that we're after, okay? It's not how fast we can do it. So I'm gonna show you, okay? So I've got us obviously a shield. If you don't have a shield, you don't need a shield. When you go down, Okay, make sure your elbows go to your knees. All right, elbows to knees, and then feet to hands. That's the first movement. Okay, so I've got a shield that I'm gonna utilize. Okay, so knees, elbows to knees. Quick movement. Do a couple of reps of that, record it, have a look at it. Am I coming up quick enough? Okay, shout the word big, which means back in game. Big, 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 bang, on my feet. In rugby, you can only play when you're back on your feet, right? This is good habits. Also, remember we do have a video that we've made in the past. Go and check it out. It's in the link below, or above, wherever. Go and have a look at it. Big, back in game, okay? So now we've established this. The next point would be, because it's a yoga ball, it rolls, it's always moving, which will really push you to be off balance. Now you need to engage your core. You have to be able to control your own body weight, but it also helps you to keep a straight back. I'll show you why. Okay, so I go down slowly. I go through the gate, okay? Even though I'm leaning on the ball, I'm nice and low, and I'm developing a good habit. I'm developing good form. Good form, eyes up. You see that? Same thing, eyes up, okay? Even though no hands this time, okay? Let's have a look. See that? Okay. Okay, okay. So as you can see, done a couple of reps. It's giving me the confidence to commit fully. Why? Because I've got support. I've got support on the ball. Look how low I can go. Chest, hips over the ball. Okay, I've got support. I'm not afraid to commit. What we find sometimes, oh. <laughs> what we find sometimes, see that, just dropped me, eh? What we find sometimes, you don't always have time to go through all the smaller detail when you're coaching, okay? When you're practicing. But when you have time, take it one step at a time. So I've been working on getting up on my feet, going through the gate at a good height. Question is, why do I have to be lower than the opposition? Because I don't want to get cleared out. That's what we normally hear. But the number one thing is about safety. Safety, okay? If you've got a straight back and you're looking over your glasses, it allows your spine to straighten. But if I look down, I've got a round back. And that's why people get cleared out, especially with the new laws. Your head's in the way because you're not looking. And now people clear out on your head and they get a red card. But if you look up, you can see what's coming while you're getting your hands on the ball. I'll demonstrate one more time. You can always be creative with this. I'm just showing you how to utilize the yoga ball with, with no one to help me. If you're on your own, you can always do this on yourself. For yourself. Okay, go there, quick feet through the gate, down up. Over, secure the ball, the ball's playable. Okay, that's, that's on our ball or turnover. Okay, next one, 
Okay, when you want to slow the opposition down, this is what you need to do. You've got to come through the gate, so if you want to come this way, right? The gate, as we know, is where the head and the toes are, or the knees, right? If it's this way, the gate becomes smaller. The gate becomes smaller. Can you guys see that? Smaller, right? So this is what you could do. The gate's really small, right? You can still enter, come this way, on an angle. You can still enter on an angle from the side or from the side. It doesn't have to be square on. When you enter square straight on, it's quite difficult to try and hit someone square on. But if it's from the side, you can easily knock them off. But if it's straight on, it's just hitting me backwards. That's it, okay? I'm gonna show you from, the, from an angle. So I'm gonna go there, from the angle, bang. See that? Through the gate. On an angle, you, go, you still go through the gate. It's still legal, but just change your angle. Guys, I hope that makes sense, okay? Please like, subscribe, if you haven't already. For those of you that have joined us, Share the word. Help get us to a thousand subscribers. We'll catch you next time.